So I found some of these reference images online and thought, why not create something similar? First thing to do was to block out the landscape. Inside Blender, I basically just scaled up a plane, subdivided a bunch of times, then in sculpt mode, I used the inflate brush to start forming the landscape. When doing this, it helps to have your camera already set up at roughly the right place and sculpt from inside the camera view. This way, you're only working on the things actually visible in the scene and not getting caught up on anything else. Now, in the reference, you can see this archway in the foreground, which was something I wanted to replicate, and thankfully, I already had a bunch of archways I could use in my asset browser. From there, it was just a matter of getting it framed correctly in the camera shot. Next thing was to add a bunch of these pillars to match the vibe of the archway in the foreground, and I ended up taking this one step further by making them look like ruins also. To do this, I just added a good old Susan, gave her a displacement modifier, and set the texture to clouds. Then all you need to do is add a boolean modifier to the pillar and set the target as the Susan model. Once I had two of them done, I just used Alt-D to duplicate them to roughly follow the path. From here, it was time to add a distinct floor path, and to be honest, this went through a bunch of different iterations. First thing I did was find this texture of rocks and use the displacement to give it some depth, although it just didn't feel right at all, so I essentially just started experimenting with a few different textures until I found something that worked for the time being. Once that was sorted, I wanted to fill up the scene a bit more, so I just started going through my asset browser and thought it would look cool to add some of these photo scans of tree logs and such to the scene. I also started adding a few trees which I got from polyhaven.com as I wanted some more of that nature element in my scene. Taking the nature element one step further, I appended the geometry node setup of a previous project to this new one, and then used weight paint to distribute a bunch of plants and flowers across the landscape, although this did tag my PC a bit, so throughout the rest of the scene creation, I always toggle them on and off. Now, after assessing the overall composition, I felt like there needed to be more of a focal point to the scene, so I went through my asset browser and just started adding in large objects which could potentially become the focal point, even if they were just temporary. This took a lot of trial and error, with various lighting and composition setups to try to figure out something which could work. Now, here is where things took a bit of a turn. Getting the right composition was starting to become frustrating, so I just stripped the entire scene of most of its elements. What was left was just a flowery hill with some nice lighting, an archway, and a tree. And honestly, looking back, I should have kept it to something like this, but I guess that's an idea for another project. So from here, it was a matter of building the scene back up, so I added in a bunch of the trees which were there before, as well as some of those broken pillars I made earlier. I tried to form this kind of pathway using the trees I already had, but the scene background was looking empty and I was figuring out ways to fill the space out. What I ended up doing was going back to the good old asset browser and finding some large objects for the background that would make sense relative to what the focal point is, which I knew was going to be some kind of architectural structure. Once those were set up, everything seemed in place for the most part and it was just a matter of refining the scene. I mainly just played with the lighting and the fog density, but I also ended up scattering some more of the trees as well as the main focal point in the background just to help fill out the scene a bit more. When all of that was done, it was time for a test render. All I do for the test is set the resolution to 50% and use 10 samples to render. It's mainly just to see if there's any artifacts in the scene that aren't really visible in the viewport display. Once the render is good, I take it over to Photoshop as well as the Mist Pass. In Photoshop, I don't do anything complicated, it's primarily just to darken the areas I want darkened, lighten the areas I want lightened, and tweak the colors to match the vibe I want the image to give off. If you guys would like me to go more in-depth in the Photoshop part, be sure to let me know in the comments. That'll be all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.